Good morning. Don't know if anyone's on. Don't know. Wow, I haven't been live in so long that the whole layout is kind of different. Hi. Can you tell how little I slept? <laughs> Can you see it in my face? <laughs> okay. Hey guys. Um, I have um, a meeting in the morning, so I just am going to be putting on some tiny amount of makeup for the sake of not scaring uh, the person I'm meeting with as much as I'm about to scare you guys. I apologize for this. I know it's been so long. Um, so I for those I'm gonna I'm gonna fix my face. Um, hi, I don't know. Um, I just I really wanted to. Wait, I'm gonna change the song just because it's a little. Let's see. Uh, let's, uh, sorry. That's kind of nice. <laughs> okay. Um, Nico, Nico, I'm so I'm gonna watch your movie this weekend. I'm so excited. Nico just uh, a movie Nico's in just came out called Moxie. You guys should go watch it. Watch it with me. Oh, speaking of watching things together. Um, Someone said, did you just wake up? Yeah, clearly. What's the name of this song? Okay. It's called God Only Knows. <clears throat> okay, sorry. It's been so long. since Should I? Well, guys, look at this. No, I'm not going to do it. Okay, sorry. Hi, I'm so disoriented. Uh, oh, someone already saw the movie. They beat me. Um, Okay. Maybe, is this better up here? This is kind of better, right? Um, okay, what I was gonna say is I have just generally been missing talking to people <laughs> and um, was like thinking about how uh, I used to go on live a lot more and like bring you guys on and talk and stuff and um i really just wanted to like do like a check-in like to see how everyone's been and um because i miss you guys and um i'm kind of just excited for the music i'm making right now for you to hear it and it every time i finished a song it's like i've just felt i know i haven't said it in the moment but i've just like felt closer to a lot of you and anyway so I just wanted to ask you how you're doing and um and say hi and and like catch up and it's also women's history month and I thought it could be kind of cool if like maybe once or even twice a week sometimes we go live and and maybe we like plan on listening to the same album or watching the same movie that uh was you know written or made by by women that inspire us and because for me right now like being as kind of like obsessed with writing right now as I've been I I feel like I'm constantly referencing uh more and more um from just like women that I've looked up to forever and so I thought it could kind of be nice if we did some kind of like I don't know what that is not like a book club it's a but that type of thing if we kind of get on and talk but um I just wanted to yeah okay so I'm this is a I feel like I, this goes without saying, and you know this about me maybe already, but I don't, I like, I do not wear makeup. Uh, this is just, someone described, uh, what is it? What did they say? Like, it's the version of when you, oh my God, all these songs are so depressing. It just went from, it just went from Big Thief to Hide and Seek. Uh, let's see. Timitsky. Am I okay? No. You know, we'll go Blake Mills also so depressing, but that's okay. Um, anyway, yeah, I was saying I don't I do not do uh, makeup because I'm really bad at it. And so I always end up making myself looking worse, look worse than I did without it. So this is probably a mistake, but I just 
for like meetings on Zoom and that kind of thing, as I'm sure a lot of you know, with school or work or, you know, seeing family, although never have I once put on makeup for family, but um, I was gonna say there are little things that make you look slightly more approachable, I guess, if you're trying to make a good impression for the first time, and I certainly am. But, like, I'm swollen with or without makeup, so anyway. Um, okay, tell me about what's going on in your lives. First of all, where are you guys, and, like, what's been making you feel better about stuff recently, and what has been shitty and difficult? Oh, should we do a question thing? Wow. God, I really haven't been on this in so long. I'm like looking at how someone said, what are you doing at the moment? Talking to you guys and, and oh, I didn't mean to click that, but yes, I love you. Hi. And you, how do you swipe out? I don't understand. Okay. Someone said, I just moved to LA. Welcome. Do you like it? Is it hard? Someone said they've applied to 17 internships this week. That's incredible. You should celebrate just solely based on the applications. I remember like how good it felt to apply to, to like when you send in your college application or when you send in your job application, it's like the greatest. It's almost like better than when you get in because you're like, okay, now it's out of my hands. You know that you've done everything you could do. Um, yeah, I'd love to accept requests. Okay. Let's see. Uh, see all? Okay. Marianne, I'm adding you. Sorry. <sighs> Is it gonna work? What's up? How are you? <laughs> Hold on. Yourself? I'm 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 out drinking and you accept my request right now. What the? <laughs> we can do this later. You should go have fun. Are you safe though? Yeah, I'm safe. All right. I'm here with my friends. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. you, too, you too. Um, How are you? Oh, I'm good, dude. I'm just I'm just waking up, but I'm so glad we got to like say hi finally it's like stupid yeah i didn't Dark. expect you to accept my request when i'm drunk but <laughs> and also like shout out to food tasters you guys i love you i love you also we saw that you left us on read today gracie you what you left us on steam today oh can i be honest with you that was a couple hours ago right <laughs> yeah what that was that was weenie it woke me up he does this thing where like wakes up <laughs> whatever wakes me up and I check my phone to see what time it is I had had an Instagram notification it, you know when your phone like does a hundred things at once and you're like do you what? not have your notifications off you must get like notifications all the time I have so I mean I have hours on oh okay so I and, and then I, it was I was basically unconscious and I turned my phone off but I didn't read anything so I'm going back in there yeah no right. don't read it we're like <laughs> always on some shit like it's it's embarrassing really you have the worst yeah. timing ever so <laughs> can't wait to hang and i hope you have like drink but be safe okay yeah i'm safe okay. i love you okay i love you more also really close to you <laughs> <laughs> i love you. i don't know how to i don't know how to how me neither you... me neither <laughs> how do i how do i leave i don't know hold on uh uh is there a button I to use this filter before i leave <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay hold on I, i'm i'm trying okay, okay leave i don't know Bye. How to love you <laughs> okay she's the funniest person i've ever met so we have this um there are a couple like group chats of of people that i love who have been listening to my music for either a long time or just like often and it's uh the greatest okay wait sorry I'm, I'm so distracted it hurts can you guys tell me more about what's going on in your lives
or if you, I know it's been so long. So if anyone has like questions or wants to talk about something specific or like if there's anything going on that if there's anything going on that you haven't had the opportunity to like talk to anyone else about there are enough people on here who have probably gone through something similar to whatever you're going through. So I'm sure we could all band together. Okay, you want to know, I'm doing a creative writing assignment right now. Can you help? Yeah, tell everyone what you're writing about, and we can all, like, line for line it. Please start the food YouTube. The thing is, is, like, my consistency with content like that is so spur of the moment, uh, because cooking, for me, has, like, become, uh, like, kind of like it's a therapeutic thing so almost I don't really like documenting anything until it's finished and I'm like okay I like the way that this at least tastes I'm really bad at plating food that's something I want to get better at so that once the pandemic is over and I have I have friends again uh you know I can like make it look nice for them um oh check the Q&A duh sorry I'm so so dumb um actually for the sake of sorry this is annoying for the sake of just like me seeing it if you could just type them in the comments that'd be amazing uh oh happy birthday if it's your birthday happy birthday um i'm i feel like quite badly that uh i'm on here like this right now but I, you know, uh, these questions about cooking are funny to me. How are you actually? Right now, I'm the best that I've been in a really long time, to be honest. Um, this year uh, has been so hard for everyone, and I've felt every single day really, really, really grateful. Um to be able to work from home, to be with my family, he's been safe. Um, but I had like, definitely like, three months of being really not good, um, mentally, emotionally, and, uh, and I, I posted um, a little while ago, uh, just that like, I was going back to therapy and whatever. And um, it has fully transformed my um my overall state so i'm grateful for that and someone said oh, yeah i also had a really tough couple months yeah i believe i believe you i believe you um why go to therapy when minor exists <laughs> minor exists because i needed to go to therapy so definitely go definitely go i can try to also find um i know that like mental health is not remotely talked about enough so i'm sure that it feels kind of like those resources are not accessible to all of you when i think that they they very much can be through different online resources and so if you guys ever wanted um, any kind of like, I don't even know what it would look like, but I could try to pull some some links or organizations together that help with with mental health kind of wherever you are. Um, and like, I'm sure that there are anonymous versions of that. So we'll figure it out. If you guys need help, I am here to help. Um, I'm sorry, I'm reading these. Happy birthday, Sophia. How old are you turning? Do you have any advice for songwriting? I need help with it, please. Um, I, the only like advice that I feel like I can even give, and it's only just because I know it's the one thing that's worked for me consistently, um, not that anything works for everyone, but uh, is, is like journaling in any capacity. Um, 
journaling in any capacity, whether it's like, like these, like physical journals or uh, the notes app in your phone or scrap paper or like I used to when I was in class and I like didn't have my exact journal I wanted I do not recommend this but like I would write stuff down on my arms like like I would write things down uh a lot it it sometimes it's it feels stupid if you're like this is dumb I don't this isn't important for me to document but there are so many songs um that I've written that like some of which are out and a lot of which are not and um uh, there are like direct lines from my journals um that go into my songs and I so I just I'm, I only recommend journaling because I think writing in a different medium from songwriting gets you to like say things more straight up which can either really benefit you in terms of like figuring out the concept my arm is like lost um figuring out the concept or just saying things in a different way than you would in a song and helping you see things from a different perspective but also i don't know what do you think about body positivity um i you know struggle with it all the time but i definitely am working on it and i was i you know also i'm not a therapist but speaking to my therapist about this recently um that like people claim to be empathetic towards themselves a lot but that like 99 percent of the time it's bullshit and it's you're it's you are not actually being empathetic towards yourself and i think i think i'm in this moment in my life trying to practice empathy with myself uh obviously with others but with myself because i normally don't do that um sorry i'm right there did you feel nervous on live with us? I always, I don't know if I'll ever feel not nervous for the first like two minutes. Same with um, like even Zoom shows. Food Rex in LA. Um, oh, just cause it's like the most recent place that blew my mind is Courage Bagels in Silver Lake, which is also right across the street from Squirrel, which like is definitely, those both places are like a bit pricey um so it's kind of like go on a weekend and treat yourself pricey for what they are i think like i think like a bagel sandwich at courage is like 15 dollars or something kind of stupid but it really is so good it really is so good and then at squirrel across the street i think it only start i don't live over there so i, I don't go often enough to know like what's normal but they um have this like i think since the pandemic they opened the front of their their place into this like market and they have really good ingredients that are kind of random that you wouldn't necessarily find at your average market and there's this japanese barbecue sauce that comes in this like squeeze bottle it's so good How is Weenie? He's amazing. He's sleeping in the other room. He really is amazing. Like this is the first dog um, or pet that I have, that's not like a family pet, like he's mine. And it's crazy that it feels like he is mine. Like it's a weird feeling to connect with an animal as hard as I feel like I connect with me. Oh, my friend Sarah texted me. I got on your live. What bagel place are you talking about? It's called Courage Bagels. When you're home, we'll go. I don't know if she's still on. Are you still, wait, let me ask her. Are you still on? Uh, oh, don't you love this song? Wait. Okay, what else? Oh, do you guys ever listen to that playlist that I made still? I haven't updated it, I feel like, in a long time. Has Katie accepted uh, Weenie as his true name? Yeah, she has. Um, I also miss you so much, Elliot. Katie is my mom, for those of you wondering. She was super anti-ween. Uh, she was like, it sounds too much like peen. And I was like... 
Alex, thank you. This is what I, this is the one product that I actually, this is the one makeup product in my whole life that I've ever been like, uh, I do feel weird if I don't do this because my eyebrows are so strange, but it's this. It's this stupid tube and it's the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. You know what stresses me out is the Benefit packaging. I don't like that at all, but I do appreciate their brow gel. Um, we love Spotify and your music. Thank you, but do you like the playlist though? Like, should I update it more? This album came out uh, the day before my 20th birthday when Audrey and I were road tripping and we listened to the whole thing in the car and it was just like, I have actually, this is the cassette of the VCR or video, like eight millimeter video cassette of our road trip. It's just sitting right here. You guys want to see my desk? It's a literal mess, but I'm going to show you. I'm just checking. There's nothing I have to like conceal. Alex, I think your song is on my playlist. Uh, I don't know who's on here, but somebody, if anyone's working in music <laughs> and you're listening, go sign Alex. I don't know. You, may, I don't, you don't need me to say that. Like, you already, whatever, you already, I'm sure you're getting a lot from everyone. Uh, oh, God. I'm so swollen from this angle. Can you tell how swollen? Okay, let me see really quick. Okay. This is my desk. I'll show you like this. Um, actually, no, that's a mess. Okay. These are two of my journals. This is this light that I got. Uh, I got this for myself. And look, you can make it like cute, whatever. I don't know. Uh, this is a headband. This is my wallet. Um, cute ass rings. Let's see. These are necklaces that uh, Charlotte got a bunch of beads at her house, so we make those. This is my salt lamp. This is my guitar. Uh, Blake actually bedazzled my capo for me. Uh, so thanks, Blake, for that. I love this song. Um, okay, wait, can we talk more about you again? <sighs> Let's talk more about you. So, oh, someone said Spongebob. Yeah, this is the candle um, that was on my cake for my 21st birthday. Where did you get the light from? The salt lamp I got at a, at like a health food market near my house. And uh, the other lamp was a, I bought it off an Instagram ad. It's the only thing I've ever bought off an Instagram ad. Uh, how tall am I? I'm 5'8". People think I'm short, which, like, that's cool. Uh, what song is this? Let me tell you, it's My Body is a Cage. Arcade Fire, are you working on new music? Yes, every day, girly. Mm. I think it's funny when people record lives because like, I'm just talking shit literally to myself. Uh, no bestie, we know you're tall, tall. How are you and Olivia Rodrigo? Well, I can't speak for her, but she definitely is on top of the world right now, as we all know. Um, we were talking about Seth Cohen from the OC yesterday. I've been trying to like, there's this website. Does anyone know the website Custom Ink? Because if you know the website Custom Ink, then 
tell me and I'll read you an email that I sent to a representative at Custom Inc. about a design that was not being approved. What's my favorite song from my album? Uh, from minor or from my new, new, new? I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Last night, um, last night I had a shoot for something that, um, wrapped at like 11 and it was far away from my house so I didn't get home until like 11 45 whatever and uh I hadn't had dinner because it started at like I left my house at like five to get there whatever last night I came home and I had cereal for dinner um but in a huge bowl like in a huge bowl um you know, like mixing bowls and you know how there's like different sizes, but even the small mixing bowl is still like a very large bowl. I had cereal in that. So I had like a fuck ton of cereal for dinner. Uh, and that's, you guys are acting all surprised that I'm like working on new music. <laughs> like, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think I'm doing? all day bedroom shows for south america please yeah we got to do something for you for you guys we got to do something anyway i know that i've kind of been on for a minute now um curse in your next song lol okay uh what was i gonna say Oh, I was just literally going to say that I've been on here for a long time, so I should probably go and get coffee. And Did you watch Billy's Dog? Yeah, I did. It really made me cry. I'm going to make my family watch it um, with me again, I think. I watched it with Blake, and we were both like, holy shit. I mean, she just works so fucking hard and is so talented. Duh. Um guys this is a good note to end on don't you think don't you think this is a nice note to end on oh i have a says a story it's not a story but when i was like 16 i i posted um this video literally in high school i posted this video of me i had bought this like super cheap um face mask from oh bianca okay wait bianca you're gonna like this this is a scissor story, kind of. Um, I, anyway, I was in high school and I bought this like cheap ass face mask, like a, one of the kinds that squeezed out of the tube and whatever. And um, like for sure burns, for sure burns. And it's the kind that you peel off after. And, uh, and so whatever, I filmed this stupid video of me basically like like this peeling the mask off so random and pointless SZA liked it I don't know why I don't know why I don't know why this is years ago she has no idea who I am or like that I exist or that I like live and breathe she isn't she doesn't she, she never she doesn't need to I'm like don't waste your time on me but she did, she wasted a like on me once when I was like 16 or 17. And maybe I'm gonna like, sh I literally like shit my pants, yeah. Yeah. I know, Bianca, I know. Isn't that weird? I was like, how'd you even find me? Gracie, I've seen that video of you peeling it off so many times. <laughs> uh. Someone said, someone said, please say hi to me and make my day. Okay, well, basically, I'm just happy to not be in, like, a dark place emotionally, mentally anymore. And I'm so fucking grateful to you guys because 
I swear to God, you're the reason. Like when we were doing the bedroom shows, uh, it was the thing that I looked forward to every single day and seeing your faces like made me happy. And so um, thank you. And I like can't wait for this year together. I really can't. And uh, And yeah, let's do this next week. If you guys wanted, um, yeah, I think we should do this next week. Maybe twice next week. Maybe this weekend again. I don't know. I love you. I love you so much. And that's kind of it. Okay. Have the best day. Happy weekend. Guys. Happy weekend. Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you.